Johnny Mosley here for Peter Glenn Ski and Sport. And um, this is a real honor for me to sit down and have a conversation with Klaus Obermeyer. Uh, he's been a, uh, you know, obviously an inspiration to all of us in the ski industry and a great friend of, of Peter Glenn Ski and Sport. Ned Hamilton yes. was, it, was a guy Old you... friend from way back. The, the yeah. founder of Peter Glenn Ski and Sport. <laughs> but he always had good ideas. Always had good ideas? Yeah. Always had good yeah. That, that means a lot coming from you. Because yeah. you're kind of the idea guy. Um, that if, would be a good idea. Yeah, yeah. I posted a picture of us yesterday here, uh, uh, and the comments are amazing. You know, first of all, uh, you know, Wow, he looks younger and more vibrantly alive than people 25 years younger than him. Awesome. So, way to go, Klaus. I, I, you know, when I walked in the show yesterday, you were sitting at the front of the booth, yes. and you're greeting everybody. Yeah. Your company is thriving, yeah. and uh, it's pretty incredible. How, how does that make you feel that you're still running? Well, a, we're having fun. We love skiing. Yeah. We love the mountains. Yeah. We love the outdoors. We love our planet, which is sensational. Uh -huh. and, and, uh, it, and so we make stuff that makes people feel better when they're outdoors. <laughs> so, I mean. <laughs> so, and the shared pleasure is twice the pleasure. <laughs> Mark it, write it down. Shared pleasure is twice the pleasure. Klaus Nuggets, Klaus Nuggets. <laughs> Uh, Klaus, speaking of great ideas, yeah. uh, um, we, we're, sta we're sitting right here in front of the Klaus insulator. Yeah. And I'm not sure everybody knows that you invented the down jacket. It was, uh, I don't know whether I did or not. Okay. It, they may have done it already 5,000 years ago in China. <laughs> you know? Very humble of you. <laughs> But for but, in but our in Aspen industry, was the first one. In Aspen was the first. Okay. And what was the? Uh, do you remember what you were thinking? Well, but we we had the world's longest single chairlift up Aspen Mountain. Okay. And there was a cold ride up there, so people had long city winter coats to ride up in, but you couldn't ski in them. Interesting. And so I thought, well, that if, if we would have something something warm that's shorter that you could ski in. Uh -huh. You don't have to send your, your, car, your, your uh, thing down the lift. Yeah. So, so I cut up the down gumper that my mom made me take to America. She said, you're going to North America. It must be cold there uh -huh. or it wouldn't be North America. <laughs> <laughs> so so any, anyhow, so I did that. I had feathers in my cereal for three weeks after that. It was flying around, but 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 it was not very long. Uh -huh. It was warm, yeah. and you could ski in it. And Gary Cooper bought it for me. You know, Gary, Gary said, oh, "Wait a minute, can, can really? I try your jacket? Yeah, try your jacket." I said, "Sure." And, and uh, so and he did some nice turns in it, and he brought it. Yeah, well, he helped me anyhow, you know. That's already. incredible. Oh <laughs> yeah. my gosh, I can't yeah. wait to tell my dad that story. So you're skiing around Aspen with Gary Cooper, and he said, I want that jacket. <laughs> yeah. That is very cool. Unbelievable. Yeah. Um, and mo moving on from there, and then I've heard this story before, but sunscreen? Yeah. Can you give well, me that? The, the word, there was no sunscreen, yeah. except there was some root juice from India that was used on the glaciers in Europe, you okay. know, it was called chum coffee. And, uh, but it, it, it didn't quite work, it didn't work. Yeah. So we, what we did, we got some tiny little crystals in it that had the diameter of the rays. Oh, got it, okay. And when, they, when the ray hits the crystal, it defrayed it. Got it. Like 95% of it. Yeah. And so you could, you tanned, yes. but you didn't burn. And people used to burn up, they used to come to Aspen in March uh, for 14 days, right. and the second day they left for home again because they were totally sunburned. Wow. You know, and, yeah. and with the snow reflection. Yeah. Anyhow, so yeah, so that was a good thing. That's yeah. pretty good. Yeah. So, I mean, he's yeah. responsible for <laughs> sunscreen as well. Yeah. So, so cool. Um, <laughs> Now, I, I think 
innovation, ideas, yeah. probably is what keeps you young. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think you'd agree with that. But it seems like skiing, if it doesn't kill you acutely, keeps you young as well. Would you Would you agree with that? I, I think that skiing is a <laughs> sensational sport. And and boarding also, yeah. snowboarding. Absolutely. We like this too. To be able to slide on snow, isn't that a luxury? Yeah. It's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. And now people ask me, say, what, what do you like to ski the most? I said, on snow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like to ski the most? <laughs> on snow. Well, I have one last question for you, since yeah. I, or I have a couple more, but um, I often hear about your, your sw swimming regimen. Um, yes. Is that something you still keep up? You swim? Oh yeah, when, you're... when you jump in the pool, you better swim, otherwise you drown. <laughs> <laughs> you sink. <laughs> I, I need to do mental push-ups to have a conversation with him. I mean, he's going to get me every single time. Well, but, but anyhow, it's a, it's a good exercise, you know, and I do Aikido also. That, yeah. that, and that is a phenomenal thing. Okay. I'm trying yeah. to pick up all everything I can from you, man. I, I want to be like you, and uh, I want to get this someday. Just, a uh, Lifetime yeah. Achievement Award. Just having fun. Just having, having fun. Skiing is so much fun. Yeah. Uh, the nature is so incredible. Yeah. And with all its life on this planet. It, it, I mean, you, you go out there and you're just astonished. Yeah. yeah. And we know, we know only so little of it. So cool. Most of it we still have to learn. We still have a lot to learn about <laughs> yeah. skiing. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there because that's just that's too perfect, Klaus. Yeah. Um, and uh, thank you for everything you've done for the whole industry, for skiing, and just in making putting smiles on our face. Uh, uh, Lori told me earlier that she just wishes every time she talked to you, she could record it because you just seem to be um, leaving us all with uh, with so much knowledge and, and uh, giving us like uh, infinite wisdom every time we have an opportunity. So make, make it fun to live. Make it fun to live. Yeah. Klaus Overmeyer, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you uh, for listening. Johnny Mosley and Klaus Overmeyer for Peter Glenn Ski and Sport. Have a great season and make it fun. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.